Hi, everybody. It's Olivia with this week's intention of the week from Freedom at the Mat, which is define your own success. So this week, like the rest of the weeks in April, we are celebrating National Stress Awareness Month. I personally believe and hold true that much of our stress comes from external factors, other people's opinions, other people's judgments, and in general, what other people are actually doing in their lives. And I believe that we all would live much less stressful lives if we define for ourselves what we need. I know I often say, I don't really need that much more than what I have. I don't really need anything more than what I have. I don't really need a lot. Now, if I look to my friends and I look to other people and what they're doing, then that's when I'm like, well, I need to get this. I need to make more money to get this. But what I really need isn't what other people have. And I was reading for sure, Sarah Ban Breathneck's book, Something More, Excavating Your Authentic Self. And she has a passage in here in her fieldwork section called Authentic Success. And I go into it in deep, in depth, right? I go into it in depth in the yoga video, okay? That's entitled the same thing, Define Your Own Success. But I want to share with you the quote she begins with, and it is by George Bernard Shaw. He says, the real moment of success is not the moment apparent to the crowd. And, you know, I share that and that really resonated with me because I realized in my own life, the moments of my true success have never been what other people thought were success. The moment for you may not be when others are like clapping. It could be the moment that you decided inside of you that you had what it took to actually go step on that stage. It could have been a moment when you decided that what you'd currently been dealing with was no longer enough, that you wanted more in your life. Someone may look at you and say, oh, she's finally married, I'm so proud of her, congratulations. And maybe the moment for you was deciding what you deserved in a partner. Maybe that was a moment of success for you. And that was what even allowed you to find that partner and to, to mate with that partner. Perhaps for someone will say to you, oh, she lost all that weight, she looks good. Maybe the moment of success for, for you was deciding, I'm not going to actually take my grocery cart down the cookie aisle. I'm just not going to do it anymore, right? So everybody has the power to define for themselves what success looks like in your life. I invite you this week to define it for yourself. The affirmation that I leave us with for this week around defining your own success is I choose to define my own success. Again, I choose to define my own success. May God be with you and abide in you. Namaste.